I've been speaking to over 200 people, first home buyers, investors through my TikTok profile where they book a call with me. From this 200 people or 206, um, when since I last opened this form about two months ago, so big response. Been speaking to like over 100 people per month. In my form, I always ask them this question Have you used a mortgage broker before? And because I'm using Google Forms, which is a free platform and very, very useful, by the way, my answers are blue, red, and orange. Blue being this is my first time, red being I had a bad experience, and yes, being I had an okay experience. We'll find out that 48.5% have never used a mortgage broker before. Hmm. And then 10% of those who answered had a very, very nasty experience. When I asked them, well, what happened? Why did you have that bad experience? There are three common things. Number one, the mortgage broker ghosted the client. Missing in action, don't know where that person is. Number two, bad communication. Just never inform the client where the deal is up to. Number three, shift the blame onto the client. Never on the broker itself on the client. I'm thinking about my, you know, 10, over 10 years of experience as a mortgage broker. Have I had a client complain about me on these three elements? I can honestly say no. But to be brutally honest with you, does shit happen? <laughs> it does. Let me show you how. A typical client journey uh, with a mortgage broker is that the client, you know, meets up with the mortgage broker because they want to buy this property. The mortgage broker will do their homework and, you know, out of their panel of lenders, they go, hey, we have ya, 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 ya. Client goes, let's go with this bank due to rates, you know, features, you know, brand affinity. The MB will go to a bank, which is A over here, and go, hey, what do you need? The bank will have a checklist will go, hey, we need your client to satisfy X, Y, Z. Broker and you know his team will do X, Y, Z because they're representing the uh, client at the moment. And if these X, Y, Zs match the bank's X, Y, Z, the end result is they get the property for the client and the client can move in and happy days. Now that's just once upon a time like a fairy tale. This is what really happens. Say the client picks this bank and it's X, Y, Z to get this property. Broker does exactly X, Y, Z. And these set of steps, X, Y, Z goes into bank world. And I drew a globe, call it bank world, bank. Bank world comes back and go, I need X, Y, Z, E, F, G. And broker's like W, T, F. Now this is the really crucial part, which is the communication between the client and the broker. Now I wouldn't say most mortgage brokers, but for those that mostly get complaints, they have an issue with managing conflict or they don't like conflict. So when the client has been told that, hey, X, Y, Z, get the loan done. But then the mortgage broker realizes that bloody bank world requires these extra items that no one told him about. And these brokers who hate conflict, because you know, if they go up to the client and go, hey, um, well, we actually need more info. And the client will be like this, what? You, you said you said this and this, you said X, Y, Z, you said X, Y, Z. And due to this, a lot of brokers who fall under the getting complaints category, what they do is, hey, the client bought a property and it's a seven days cooling off period and they expected that, hey, X, Y, Z is provided, should get the loan. What happens is the mortgage broker won't tell them about this stuff or they'll sort of, you know, uh, try to hide that idea that they need this information. They try to downplay it or they try to somehow full circle, um, provide something else to the bank to avoid it. Or they waste the seven days cooling off by, you know, going back and forth with the bank. Whilst they could just be very transparent with the client and go, hey, I did say we needed this, but the bank system or their process has changed and they require more items. Because at the end of the day, what a mortgage broker is, is a project manager. We project manage the bank, real estate agents, solicitors, you know, the whole purchase process to make sure that things happen smoothly. And when things don't happen smoothly, when the bank asks for more information, well, our job is to communicate that with the client, regardless if the client is pissed off with us or, you know, not agreeable, because it is what it is. Like last week, uh, and including this week, I have more than 20 clients. About maybe 30% of it was very hairy deals or the bank fucked up. Unlike some mortgage brokers where they don't like conflict or they try to hide it, I actually approach a client, tell them what's happening. I don't care what they feel or, uh, you know, they, they might say, hey, I don't like you, I don't like your service. I don't care about that. I'm here to solve the problem. And instead of like hiding or going missing action, trying to avoid the problem, you know, I'll show them, you know, you know, I'll text them, like hourly updates. 
I'll be like, hey, I'm speaking to this manager, I'm speaking to the BDM, I'm speaking to the state manager, I'm speaking to the regional manager. I'm showing them on my bloody phone that I'm doing all I can to project manage this purchase so you can get your property. And when you, you, you know when you do that and show your clients that, they really appreciate that it's actually not your freaking fault. Even though behind the scenes they freaking blame you anyway. But look, they know that you're trying your hardest. Because at the end of the days, guys, even for mortgage brokers, we forget that we don't control the funds. I don't have the money in my bloody studio at the moment. I can't give you that money. I'm just project managing the whole experience for you to make it smooth. Because people in bank world don't care. They don't care about looking at the existing process and create processes as it comes, suitable to them. And that makes it rare, incredible hard for us mortgage brokers to follow the process. But then that comes with the territory, which is solving problems when it comes and dealing with it when it comes. What do you guys think? Let me know.